Hey what is up guys, so I'm back and today we are going to be comparing the different suits from the different live action iterations of Spider-Man, specifically the movie ones. We are not going to be touching on the live action TV series from the late 70s or the Japanese version or anything like that, just the movies that we've seen in about the last 16 years. So with that in mind, let's get into comparing all the suits. So first off, taking it back to where it all started in the early 2000s with the Sam Raimi Spider-Man, of course coming at us in just plainly titled Spider-Man. So so clearly when the movie came out, they weren't going to do what Fox was doing with the X-Men. They really wanted to stick to the core of the character. Now, when you look at the suit, you of course see a very classic look to it, but you see something different. That is of course the raised silver webbing. Now, this is quite the decisive, um, you know, and uh, divided factor when it comes to fans arguing. I myself, as I went to film school, I learned that they actually had to do this. Um, For the way the camera shot back then, red kind of sticks hard to film. If you ever look at it, it looks to be a little blurrier than all the other colors specifically back then but today's technology has actually made that a lot more prominent and easier to shoot a bunch of red which is one of the reasons that Optimus Prime actually in the Transformers movies lacked a whole bunch of red because they couldn't make it do like look proper on screen it's just a very hard technique to work with um so for this what they did was actually add the silver webbing which overlaid everything which gave it a depth look um it gave it that 3d look which they needed so he didn't look like a fake CG character swinging around the entire time specifically Specifically, when you go back to 2000s, when all of this didn't exist, this was like the first time you were seeing this extent to it. You look at how much he looks in place in New York when he's swinging around compared to something like Star Wars Episode 2, which came out after but they look like they're floating on the ground you see why they did this technique with the suit and i actually really appreciate it for that it should be noted i also do have this suit as a cosplay i paid very good money to get an exact replica of it so i am a huge fan and clearly when you look at it the eyes were a bit smaller they were white reflective lenses and the spider logo was of course you know a pretty decent size for what we were expecting now, the biggest change they, of course, made in this version was, of course, giving him organic webbing, which he did not actually make cartridges that he could shoot. He shot them out of his body as, like a spider, they wanted them to be produced naturally by its host. So, this was one of the changes I was iffy on when it first happened, but I actually did kind of grow to love the change. Although, I don't mind the web shooters at all and I actually prefer them. So this costume would pretty much stay the same for all three of the Spider-Man movies, getting only subtle changes that didn't really affect or warrant me really talking about them. Now after the critical failure that was Spider-Man 3, uh, we went back to the drawing boards. They were going to go with a Spider-Man 4, but they decided on a full reboot, which brought us the Amazing Spider-Man. Now in a post-Chris Nolan age, they figured we have to go more realistic with Spider-Man, and we have to go darker. Thus, the Amazing Spider-Man suit was born. Uh, very drastically different from what was in the comics at the time the logo including a much larger more sleek looking version which I am actually a fan of this logo this is probably my favorite personal favorite spider-man logo um I should also note that my wife is a huge spider-man fan and she actually has this logo tattooed on her so if I take a little bit of bias to what this costume looks like you know it, that might be because of it um I also did actually very much appreciate what they were trying to do for the movie and the story they were telling I thought the suit worked great um I thought you know that the layers and everything looked pretty fine once again you have to layer these suits which is why they had this almost looking like black webbing and shards everywhere and uh honestly the only problems i had with this was that they took too much of a realistic feel to it um adding the sh you know the shoes and the soles at the bottom just didn't do it for me and i honestly felt that the eyes were too small the raimi ones were just big enough for me to not complain but when it came to these they were way too small for me so i didn't really enjoy them and also another change that was added from the version of sam raimi was of course adding the original web shooters now these actually created puffs of smoke which a lot of people complained about me being one of them. So hearing all the complaints, they went back to the drawing board and literally delivered the most perfect version of the Spider-Man suit from the comics to the big screen you will ever see. It is almost uncanny how perfect and exact looking this is. It cannot be mistaken for anything. You guys wanted big eyes, here's the big eyes. You guys wanted a logo that's bigger than what we've had in the Raimi's, but we're going to stick with ours. Here it is. You guys wanted red, you guys wanted some black in here, here you go. Uh, you know, you guys want these sick looking web shooters that aren't exactly reflective the ones from the first movie that were popping like you know puffs of smoke and everything here it was um and honestly this suit to me is honestly pretty damn perfect um i actually could not have asked for anything better and this is probably my favorite 
you know, thing that comes out of that movie was this suit. Should also be noted, I have this suit also as a cosplay. So, you know, a little bit of bias there, but I do think it is amazing. And I absolutely love what it looks like. I love the colors on it. And I thought it looked pretty amazing in motion and now we come to the final version the latest version which was featured in the captain america trailer of course giving us a look at tom holland as spider-man so looking at this version you can definitely tell a lot of influences from different things um obviously this is the most different suit we have ever seen for spider-man uh clearly they are taking a ross approach to this and um if you look at it it definitely has the layers going on with it you can tell around the legs and the knees that he has different layers going on as it goes down it's melding red and blue in a pretty significant way including black webbing of course which is something that we all came to expect and it looks pretty damn awesome um now the spider logo on the chest is i think what a lot of people are going to complain about because it is small i should know and as i've said before i am not a fan of these small tiny logos i just love a big bold spider-man logo just like i love a big giant spider-man you know or superman logo and punisher and everything like that so maybe it's going to evolve over time but i have to see how it works fully in motion in the film to pass judgment on it the eyes on this point though they actually do move as he reacts it's almost like he can focus in with them like he has some sort of technology in there so they look pretty damn awesome to me once again bringing back the uh you know actual web shooters they're not going the Raimi route which 100% okay with it looks awesome he does look like he has a small like small like shoes slash soles on the you know on his feet this would make sense that they would add him on. They're not as prominent as they were in The Amazing Spider-Man, though. He does have a big, bold, red Spider-Man logo on the back of him. And it should also be added that he does have web cartridges attached to his belt. So overall, uh, I really enjoyed this suit. It's going to take some time. As I've said, I'm a fanboy of the Raimi and of The Amazing Spider-Man 2 suit. I got both for cosplay. This one's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Once I see the movie, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fall in love with it. But until then... I have to wait, uh, but I do love everything I'm seeing. So there it is, guys. All the suits compared. Let me know what you guys think of the new one and what do you think of the old ones.